Hello, welcome to Polymath Learning Center's first video tutorial. I know that everyone is stressed out over the coming PSLE, and I hope that our videos can help you in your preparation for the examination. Today, we will be showing you how to tackle an advanced assumption question, which is somewhat different from the usual assumption question. The question is, there were 30 questions in an examination. For each question answered correctly, 7 marks were awarded. For each question answered wrongly, 3 marks were deducted. Andy scored a total of 140 marks for the examination. How many questions did Andy answer correctly? First of all, it is very important for a student to be able to identify the concept to be used in a question. Not knowing how to identify a correct concept when you see one is one of the main reasons why students are unable to reproduce what they have learned in practice during the examination. So, how do you correctly identify an assumption question? The first thing to remember is that assumption questions are very secretive. Assumption questions try to confuse you by telling you the total number of two different objects without telling you exactly how many of each is in the total. In this question, it was told to you that there was a total of 30 questions in the exam, in which you can either get correct or wrong. In the assumption questions, the two different objects will also have their own value each. In this question, the correct answers have a value of gaining 7 marks each and wrong answers have a value of losing 3 marks each. Finally, most but not all assumption questions will then give you the total value that was obtained. In this question, the total value is 140 marks. As the exact number of correct and wrong answers is what we want to find out, we must first have a point to start with. We obtain the starting point by assuming that all 30 questions are answered correctly. Thus, we would have the maximum amount of marks possible. We take 30 correct answers multiplied by 7 marks awarded for each correct answer, and we obtain the maximum marks of 210. However, we know that it is not possible that Andy had obtained 210 marks, as the question says that Andy scored only 140 marks. Thus, we take the difference between the maximum of 210 marks and Andy's 140 marks and we obtain a difference of 70 marks. Our assumption is 70 more than the actual marks that Andy scored. Therefore, we must lower our assumption by 70 marks. How do we do that? We do that by replacing the correct answers that we have assumed with wrong answers that Andy must have provided. When we replace our correct answer with one wrong answer, and not only loses the 7 marks awarded for the correct answer, but also lose 3 marks as they were deducted for a wrong answer. Thus, when we replace one correct answer with one wrong answer, the total marks lost is a sum of 7 and 3, which is equals to 10. When we replace a correct answer with a wrong answer, Andy loses 10 marks. Andy must have lost 70 marks to have scored 140 marks. By dividing 70 by 10, we get the number of times we must replace a correct answer with a wrong one. Therefore, the number of wrong questions that Andy obtained is 7. As there are 30 questions in total and 7 of them are wrong, 23 of the questions are answered correctly, and thus we have obtained the answer. We can always check our answer by multiplying the number of objects with their respective value and sum them together to check if it tallies with the total value given in the question. This takes you less than 10 seconds 